Hey everyone, so first of all, I really hope my shirt isn't see-through. If it is, just pretend that's a bikini, and if you're not mature enough to handle that, bye. So today, I'm going to talk about the oh-so-talked-about subject, which is calories. And it seems that you hear that everywhere. Oh, this is too many calories. Oh, I'm going to gain weight from this. Blah, 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 blah. So, do the calories matter? Do they not? Are you going to get fat if you eat too many? Let's dive into that realm. So, first of all, calories don't matter. Get that out of your mind. Every single person should be eating 2,000 plus calories a day in general. And if you're a vegan, you should be eating more than that. Or that amount, whatever suits your fancy, I don't know. Anyways, so today more and more people restrict their calories. And it's not healthy for you. Not only can you lose your period, but it can ruin your metabolism, it can make it harder for you to gain weight, it can make it harder for you to lose weight, mostly lose weight. These diets and these restricting calories, they're not satisfying. They make you angry, they piss you the fuck off, they make you hungry, and they're not healthy for you. They're not good for you, they're bad for you. If you are restricting calories and you are eating below 2,000 calories on purpose, you are not meeting your health needs. It is not healthy for you to not eat. A lot of calories and I've been down that road I've thought that you know restricting your calories was the only way to lose weight I thought that you needed to eat like a thousand a thousand calories to be able to lose weight a thousand is starving yourself it is horrible and it makes you lose hair it makes you lose your period it is so bad for you and it fucks up your metabolism like crazy if you're trying to lose weight restricting your calories is the worst possible thing you can do so now that that's out of the way, you are damaging your body. And let's talk about for a second be calorie restricting on a vegan diet. First of all, you should never, ever, ever calorie restrict on a vegan diet. Like ever. Calories don't matter in the first place, but as a vegan, never. Because animal products are already such calorie dense dense foods that it's easier to meet calorie needs and that's why some people tend to gain a lot of weight as um, meat eaters but if you're a vegan fruits and vegetables are so much harder to get a lot of calories from that you have to eat so much and so much that it feels so great because you're not restricting you're eating all you want and as much as you want and you don't have to worry about anything in the first place you should never do that but you're eating so much and you're feeling so great that there's no need to worry about calories and you're meeting the requirements but not overboard now if you're anything like me a few years ago i would have heard this and been like shut the fuck up i'm i'm restricting and i'm losing weight you're saying i'm not gonna lose weight well i am that is because your body is in starvation mode you are literally starving yourself, but ruining your metabolism at the same time. And soon you will put on all that weight that you want to lose, and you'll never be able to get it off. The only way to fix yourself is to give your body all the carbs it needs, all the healthy whole foods that it needs, all the plant foods, everything that your body runs on. Just carbs it runs on carbs it runs on all of that stuff and that's carbs are fuel you will not gain weight that way if you need to gain weight because you're so skinny you will gain weight but your body will restore itself to whatever size best fits it if you need to lose weight you will lose weight and veganism is perfect for that and once you're giving or not even just once you're giving your body all that fuel and everything it needs, it will restore itself to its natural shape. So, as a vegan, without dairy, meat, any animal product, products, it's either easy to lose weight, put on weight, stay the same, anything, as long as you're giving your body all the calories it needs. I eat anywhere from 2,000 to 3,000 plus easily. And that's because I'm fucking hungry because for so long, like when I first went vegan, I was so hungry. I would easily eat like 3,500 calories a day and it wouldn't be a problem for me. I was like, okay, what's the next meal? Like I did not care and that's okay. Like if you become vegan, you need to teach yourself to shove in the food if you've been restricting so your stomach can get back to its natural 
place where you're like, okay, now this is too much, where you can then eat intuitively. But when you go vegan, you need to, <laughs> and if you've been, you know, struggling with an eating disorder, you need to heal yourself, and that's important. It's a few hours later, and there's one more thing I wanted to say. Calories are not created equal. The calories that are 300 calories in a milkshake are not 300 calories in banana smoothies. They're completely different. They have different nutrients in them. They are not created equal. So, 2,000 calories in fruits and vegetables is not the same as 2,000 calories with animal products. They're completely different. Okay, I'm just gonna put this in the middle of the video. Have fun. Now, I know this is all easier said than done, but forget calories and everything you've been told. They're your friend. Food is your friend. Carbs are your friend. They fuel you. They make you the person that you are. But just love food and please fill your body up with the stuff it deserves. You deserve to eat and you deserve to be your happiest. And naturally, your ideal body, which you don't need to be worrying about, will come. But the most important thing you need to think about is your happiness. Do you want to be 40 and happy and have a family or whatever you desire want to be traveling the world you don't imagine your dream body you don't imagine i want to be 40 and skinny you imagine i want to be 40 and happy you don't think about that stupid things like your body and i know that's hard to do but don't think about it you deserve to fill your body up with the food it deserves and naturally your ideal body will come to you but you need to not focus on it because stuff as petty as that does not matter. Weight doesn't matter in the long run. Your personality and how great you are and the little things that you're great at matters, not what genes you fit into. Thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe if you liked the video. And I hope you eat enough. Thanks. <laughs> Bye.